Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shinkem Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today I bring you another video about uh, Matrix Awakens now on my girlfriend's house. Uh, but I still want to bring you that uh, basically on the RX 570 so maybe let's just think about it a mid like it's a mid low end GPU from 2017 now can it run the latest demo on on Unreal Engine 5 in this case the Matrix Awakens I also changed some settings of course so I changed the settings there are several levels of the settings on the config file we have the um, the default level, I think it's the level 3, so we could we can call it like ultra, ultra settings, then we have the settings number 2, maybe the high settings, then the settings number 1, which are the medium, and then the settings number 0, which are the low or very low, okay? So I'm using all settings to number 1, which is the medium at least, let's call it the medium, and I'm using the render scale to 50%, 50 percent, 50 because it wouldn't run uh, close to 20 FPS if I didn't do it. So 50% render scale, the, the native resolution is 2560 per 1080, so 1080p ultra wide, and 50% render scale, okay? Once again, settings to medium, okay? And although I'm using settings to medium, the global illumination setting has a bug, where if I set the global illumination to lower than two, the, um, the night mode won't work properly, and even at the two, the settings number two, which are supposedly the high settings, it won't work properly only with the level number three, okay? So basically that's it. So without any further delays, let's go to the gameplay. So guys, here we are now, Fabio Pisco once again, and as I told you before, we are actually using settings all to medium or you can call it low. So imagine that the setting number three is the ultra, then we have the setting number two, which could be high for example and the setting number one which is the one I'm using uh, for all settings which is the medium being the zero for example the low okay so we're using medium settings and as I showed you before um, the ultra not the ultra but the, um, the medium settings on global illumination will work fine on the, the daytime but it will work very badly at night maybe a bug okay this is we are actually running at, at 1080p ultra wide, but with only 15% render scale. 15, not 15, 50% uh, render scale, so half the resolution of 1080p ultra wide. It doesn't look that bad when you're stopped, okay? When you're moving, it looks a bit worse, okay? But it isn't all that bad, but we're still getting only 20 FPS. But I mean, it is an RX 570. What could, could we ask? I mean, I, I'm just trying to see if this game could be actually, if this demo could actually be played um, with this card or not. And we can do it at medium or low settings, but we will be having like 20. Maybe when once this is optimized, we would have like 30 FPS, maybe at 1080p non ultra wide. Okay, so it is really really heavy. I mean, if you look at the VRAM on the left corner, you can see that. We are actually, even on these settings, this card has 4 gigabytes. oh god, has 4 gigabytes, and we are actually around, around, um, okay, the card just won't move, but we are over uh, 1.5 gigabytes of VRAM, um, over the max that we have, which is 4 gigabytes, so the 4 gigabytes are used, and we would need at least like 6 gigabytes of VRAM to play this game, even on the on the medium or low VRAM settings, okay, the textures mostly, okay, but it still it still looks pretty decent. I mean, I can't lie, it looks pretty decent even with just uh, medium or low settings. It looks nice. It's just that the the night mode is kind of bugged, as you can see. I will show you once again. The night mode is bugged. This happens, okay. The shadows are completely messed up, the lighting is messed up, but the demo is actually pretty decent. And I mean, 
if we don't consider the FPS and we don't consider that we are we are actually at 50% render scale, this is not not bad, not bad. I mean, it is playable. I mean, it's it's an RX 570. It's a mid-low-end GPU from 2017 or something like that. So we can't ask for more from a, from such a graphically demanding demo as this one of the Matrix Awakens. But I mean, it's still it is still playable. It isn't that bad on. Oh come on. Those eat boxes are completely messed up. It isn't that bad, I mean. Let's see what happens. Cowabunga, bitch. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I love trees. Anyway, let's move out of this fucking car. But yeah, it looks it looks great. Like I told you, the RX 570 can still do its job at 50. At 50% render scale, of course. But it can still play this decently uh, with lower resolutions and of course at console experience from 20 to 30 fps but apart from that it still looks great so i can't say more let's put the filter let's let me just put the filter i do love trees okay let me just put the filter so it looks more like more like matrix yep let's see what where this leads me Oh, oh my god, I can't drive with such low FPS. Oh my god, the crashes are insane. Look at the shadows, completely bugged. <laughs> okay, now we have smoke. If there's smoke, there's fire. Oh goodness, oh my... <laughs> What the <laughs> Oh, this is so bugged. This is like cyberpunk worthy. That's why CD Projekt is actually using uh, Unreal Engine 4, The Witcher 4. Let's hope, now loud joking of course, but let's hope that's not the case. But yeah, I mean, there, there's not really much more to say, so it is playable. Will Unreal Engine games be playable on the RX 570? Yes, at very low FPS numbers, but most likely, because like I told you before, this is a very, and I repeat, a very, very heavy title, a very heavy demo. Uh, so once we get better optimization and a bit lower graphically intensive scenarios, the RX 570 will still be able to perform at least at 30 FPS at 1080p, okay? So we're running lower than 1080p and it still doesn't look that bad, okay? I don't know if the upscaling is on, but I don't think it is. It does look great. So it this when, when the image is stopped, it is actually pretty good and pretty sharp. So it leads me to believe that the upscaling is automatically enabled. Uh... But yeah, it doesn't look that bad if, if we're talking about 50% render scale of 1080p. Doesn't look that bad. And the RX 570 isn't performing bad as well. Yeah. And well guys, that's all for today's video. I don't, I mean, it's not really interesting. It's just a thing for you to pass the time while watching some gameplay on the 570, okay? Not much more to say. Lot of, lots of stutters low graphics and of course but it's a mid low end gpu from 2017 we can't ask more the the rx 500 series have been one of the most of the most uh performer cards that we had in years they lasted and lasted and lasted so we can't ask for more from this series okay sorry for talking a bit a bit uh low by the way but I'm on my girlfriend's house and I just felt like recording this video. Why not? Because she has the RX 570, okay? Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. And see you in the next... Oh, motherfucking car. See you in the next video. <laughs> Ciao.